I laughed inwardly at your foolishness as I sat in front of you, wine in hand. I took a look at you. How could you possibly think that I actually love you, Hubbleable? He thought I had his heart, but why aim so low? Soon, we'll be coming for his neck. I spy with my little eye something that will soon be dead. Black Widow is a venomous spider that has a tendency of killing its male partner after it mates. Turns out today's case bears a lot in common with these spiders. So much so, that this Japanese killer started being referred to as the Black Widow. Let's dive in. Born in the Saga Prefecture of Kyushu in Japan on November 28, 1946, Chiseko KK came from a middle-class family where her father worked at a steel factory. By the people close to her, Chiseko was deemed to be a good student with good grades. Her dream was to go to the university to pursue higher education in a subject that she would no doubt excel in. However, her very conservative and traditionalist father objected to this. He felt she needed to show and fulfill the part of a quote-unquote woman. Chiseko worked as a bank teller, and then later at a printing manufacturing company. In 1969, she met her first husband. She was 23 at the time. The marriage lasted 25 years, with two kids. At the time, Chiseko's husband was a truck driver who transitioned into a businessman with a successful fabric printing company. This was a company that heavily relied on the ingredient cyanide for commercial printing. Chiseko's first husband died in 1994, aged 54, of unidentified natural causes. It is important to note that this was the very same night he was fit to be discharged from the hospital after suffering from a heart attack. After his death, Chiseko took over the company, but due to the lack of knowledge and handling of the business, it collapsed pretty quickly. In less than a year, Chiseko lost all of her husband's earnings and declared bankruptcy. This prompted her to lose the business and her home. Now 61, Chiseko had become engaged with 78-year-old Tashiaki Suhiro in 2007. On the afternoon of December 18, 2007, Chiseko had lunch with Tashiaki and his kids when Tashiaki took his dietary supplements, as he regularly does. And less than an hour later, he collapsed and fell unconscious on the road. He was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance where his state was rapidly worsening. Chiseko accompanied Tashiaki to the hospital, but very oddly used the pseudonym Hiroka when consulting with hospital staff, ambulance employees, and even Tashiaki's family members. In the hospital, it was discovered that Tashiaki was near death and was experiencing inner asphyxiation until 2009. He was put on life support due to quote-unquote incurable larger dysfunction and visible impairment where he then died of cancer. Police in Chiseko's trial mentioned that there were traces of cyanide found within Tashiaki's blood samples that were kept by the hospital. By August of 2013, Chiseko was now romantically involved with a 75-year-old Minoru Hoki. Minoru Hoki was a man who had many struggles throughout his life. He was prone to feelings of depression and had a relapse of his lung cancer in his 70s. However, things were looking up for Minoru when most of his cancer had been gone from radiation in July of 2013. A couple months later, Minoru seemed smitten by Chiseko, writing in an email that he, quote-unquote, wished to keep collectively perpetually. On September 20th, the couple went out to dinner. Minoru liked to take dietary supplements similar to Chiseko's second husband, Tashi Aki. Hence, it was quite easy for Chiseko to smuggle in cyanide in the form of the supplement to Minoru. After taking his quote-unquote supplements, Minoru fainted and lost consciousness and was rushed to the hospital by an ambulance. The ambulance noted that Minoru was quote-unquote respiratory painfully and gasping. Two had fuel to the fire. When approached by the ambulance, Chiseko told employees that Minoru had no family and was struggling with terminal lung cancer. This was despite knowing that Minoru had kids and had recovered from his cancer. Chiseko also refused permission to resuscitate Minoru. He died two hours later. A few months after the demise of Minoru, Chiseko had already found her latest victim through a Japanese matchmaking agency. Chiseko and Izuke Kai and Aaron started their whirlwind romance. Within two months, in November of 2013, Chiseko had married Izuo. According to the court ruling, it is said that one month into their marriage, Chiseko had started a relationship with another man in secret. It seemed as if Izuo was head over heels for Chiseko and truly loved her. 
In one email exchange, he told Chiseko he wished for them to quote unquote, do their finest to take pleasure in a vivid second life, and reside lengthy. However, sadly for Izzo, weeks into their marriage, Izzo suffered a cardiopulmonary arrest after eating dinner at his residence on what seemed to be a regular day. Chiseko called the ambulance, and her husband was rushed to hospital. Unfortunately, he was pronounced dead an hour later. After her husbands, and many more murders. It was Izzo's death that aroused suspicions about Chiseko and her unfortunate luck surrounding her lovers. It was then that a police investigation was conducted and the truly disturbing web of this black widow was unraveled. After Izzo's very suspicious demise, the police arranged a post-mortem, which was quite uncommon around Japan at that time. Autopsies were only conducted when there was serious evidence or doubt that foul play was involved. The examination of Izio's body concluded lethal quantities of cyanide ions residing within his coronary heart, abdomen, and blood. Additionally, the authorities also discovered dietary tablets and empty capsules in Chiseko's condo. This suggests that Chiseko had emptied the dietary supplement pills and instead filled them with crushed up cyanide powder. In August of 2014, almost a year after Izio's death, the police finally found concrete evidence against Chiseko. A plastic bag buried deep within a plant pot was found outside Chiseko's condo. This plastic bag contained small traces of cyanide. It was identified that the plastic bag had been buried there for a couple of months, and there was also a similar bag in Chiseko's condo. In the court proceedings, it was said that Chiseko had obtained the cyanide from her job in the printing manufacturing company. Finally, in 2015, Chiseko is arrested and interrogated for months. After countless interrogations, Chiseko finally confesses to poisoning Minoru and Tashiki with cyanide capsules. So, what motive did Chiseko have in killing all these men who were hopelessly in love with her? Men with seemingly very different lives and jobs. Well, money? All of these men had substantial financial standing and belongings. Chiseko found these men to be perfect targets, based on their wealth and old age. Chiseko actually owed her second husband Tashi Aki 48 million yen, which is about $437,000. In the court proceedings, it was said that Chiseko quote unquote, thought that she could kill him and get away with the compensation. In fact, two months after Tashi Aki's death in February of 2008, Chiseko wrote a letter to his kids, writing that she had paid her debts using the inheritance of one other man. Upon receiving this letter, Tashi Aki's kids were extremely confused, as not only did they not know about their father extending debts to other people, but they also had no idea Chiseko was romantically involved with Tashi Aki. After they tried to question her more, Chiseko left silently with no explanation of their father's mysterious demise and his even more mysterious wife. By the fourth husband, Chiseko had gotten so much cash from her previous marriages that she could not have been motivated by desperation or necessity. She was simply killing out of thrill or fun and, as the court said it quote-unquote, disregarding human life for her personal monetary need. Chiseko had gathered around 800 million yen from the demise of all of her husbands. This is roughly 7.3 million dollars. At last, Chiseko Kikau was sentenced to death on November 7, 2017, by the Kyoto District Court, after one of the longest trials in Japan. In recent years, though, Chiseko seems to be an image of contradiction. She has been seesawing between advocating for her innocence and candidly admitting her crimes. Despite how brutal, this case had shed light on love scams within Japan and highlighted the very harmful dangers of online dating for old age, vulnerable individuals. And if it couldn't get any worse, according to Asahi Daily, Chiseko is someone who loves to read, but does not like any mystery novels because death scares her. This was reported. I'm dead serious.